Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William don't have a God-given right to the throne despite the line of succession, according to royal expert, Katie Nichol. Kate will become queen when Prince William becomes king after the throne is given to Prince Charles but an expert has warned the Cambridges must justify being there. Ms. Nicol explained the royal pair will have to represent the people. She added the queen doesn't take the position for granted at all. Speaking on Kate, the making of a modern queen, Ms. Nicol said, I think the royal family is in a very unique position and that you know the queen is on the throne because it was her God-given right. But I think that is now seen as quite an antiquated concept. I think certainly if we're looking into the future towards King William and Queen Catherine, it's not going to be seen as a God-given right. They're going to need to justify being there. They are going to need to be a king and queen of the people. Figurehead representatives for the UK and hard-working members of the royal family. One has to respect the Queen hugely for that because I don't think she takes her position for granted at all. The image that is being cultivated of William and Kate now is going to be very important several years down the line because all of this will reflect our opinion of them. Ms Nichols' comments comes after Kate and William were spotted in rather rare display of PDA as they attended the Aga Khan Center on October 02th 2019 in London. Kate was snapped touching her husband on the arm in a sweet gesture. A body expert analyzed this sweet moment. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk, Sometimes it's the subtlest gestures that can say more about a couple's relationship than the more open PDAs, especially with a long-established couple like William and Kate, as this micro-ritual proves. Kate and Prince William are known for being less forthcoming with displays of affection than their royal counterparts, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Judy explained, one possible reason why the Cambridges rarely perform PDAs or touch rituals at royal events is probably because they don't need to. Their closely mirrored body language has always implied like-minded thinking and an ability to tune into one another, keeping their movements closely synchronized while they're on royal visits and functions. Judy claims this sort of interaction between the couple is, in fact, rather unusual. It's a blend of anticipation and non-verbal tie signs that seems to work for them and their style of non-verbal bonding and equal status, twin behavior is pretty unique for an heir to the throne and their partner, she said. Judy explained, one possible reason why the Cambridges rarely perform PDAs or touch rituals at royal events is probably because they don't need to. Their closely mirrored body language has always implied like-minded thinking and an ability to tune into one another, keeping their movements closely synchronized while they're on royal visits and functions. Judy claims this sort of interaction between the couple is, in fact, rather unusual. It's a blend of anticipation and non-verbal tie signs that seems to work for them and their style of non-verbal bonding and equal status. Twin behavior is pretty unique for an heir to the throne and their partner, she said. Kate Middleton married Prince William in 2011, and the couple have since welcomed children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. But back in 2007, Kate and William's relationship reportedly hit a rocky patch. Catherine Meyer, author of Charles, The Heart of a King, claimed Kate Middleton and Prince William split up and got back together in what was a testing period. Speaking on Timeline's 2017 documentary Kate, The Making of a Modern Queen, Ms. Meyer said, I don't think there's anything at this stage that I could teach Kate about being a member of the royal family, because she clearly took to it very quickly. But she also had this very interesting period in her relationship with the prince where they split up and got back together again which was very clearly a testing period, a proving period, something where she had already been through the baptism of fire in terms of what it meant for destroying any chance of a private life she would ever have. She went into it in that sense with her eyes open. The one thing I suppose she may not have known and will now know very well is just how peculiar royal life is. It is the strangest place that I have ever spent time in, the palaces, just that sense of never ever being really alone. Kate Middleton and Prince William met nearly 20 years ago, when they were students at the University of St Andrews in Scotland. At the time, a friend told the Daily Mail Kate Middleton wanted the prince to propose to her, 
but William believed all the fun was gone from their relationship. The friend said, as far as she was concerned, it wasn't a question of if, just when. She openly admitted that she expected a formal announcement to be made by Clarence House. Another source told the publication William simply wasn't ready to settle down with Kate at the time. They added, he has always had a roving eye, far more so than Harry, who is meant to be the family playboy. That's something Kate has always known and accepted, it was part of the deal, if you like. I suppose in that respect, she would have made a perfect Princess of Wales. What has changed in recent months, however, is the way in which the public was starting to view Kate as a future princess. Kate Middleton and Prince William's split only lasted for a few months, and the couple quickly got themselves back on track, announcing their engagement in 2010. Currently, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are planning to travel to Pakistan on October 14 for their latest royal tour. The couple is following Harry and Meghan's example in Africa last week, as they journey to the country on behalf of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office FCO. Their tour will take four days but Kensington Palace has so far been tight-lipped about what the couple will do while there.